properly and it's got me wondering what sort of cosmetic surgery will I be willing to do? And I don't think there's many, to be fair. I think I mentioned it before. The most thing I'd be willing to do is the, the flipping Turkish teeth. But I think after hearing countless people who have Turkish teeth have that weird lisp and whistle thing when they're talking and having many people in my comments basically tell me, don't get it. You're better off getting Invisalign and actually, you know, sorting out your actual teeth than going and getting these fake ones put in. I don't think there's anything else I'd want to do personally um even if i had no hair i don't think i'd go to turkey to get my hair done i'll just have it bored and live the dmx life it's not that deep for me in the slightest um even though i grow my hair and don't cut it often i wouldn't be that bothered if it kind of all fell out and i just had a body it's not that big of a deal there's n and i think all it when it comes to body stuff i'd much rather because i think it's just a per it's just a it's just a it's just a person thing there are people out there who want shortcuts or who would like help i just like suffering I think that's the main thing. I just like suffering and I like punishing myself. So I don't think I could ever be in a position where I could justify getting ab implants because I'd just rather suffer and punish myself in a gym to try to get it done. It probably, you know what I mean? It would be hard, but I would definitely do that more so than take a shortcut. I just won't want to do it. Um, I just have too much pride, I guess, to do it that way. Maybe. Um, but I don't see anything wrong with it. People want to get it done. I just think it's a really funny thing that people are doing because it also shows that despite things like Ozempic existing, right, the drug that everyone's taking now, where essentially the drug, I think it's meant for people that have diabetes or something, but essentially the drug, what it does is that it makes food not tasty or it makes you feel really full, one or the, one or, one or the, one or the other, which obviously helps you not eat that much. So you can essentially have the weight kind of fall off. So even with those drugs that exist, people still want to get work done like that drug is kind of is giving you a bit of a head start to kind of get the weight off you know in in a really drastic way in, to begin with you're not eating too much but still that's not enough for some people they need to tuck they need this and need that so this article anyway Kurt's your daily mail speaks about it it says exclusive america's booming secret male plastic surgery industry revealed 1.3 million men in america are getting bbls lipo and ab implants that cost up to four thousand each year in what has been dubbed the daddy the daddy do-over <laughs> which is hilarious and what's funny about this is that 1.3 million means that most likely these are not all gay men it's just impossible the the numbers don't back it up so anybody thinking it's just gay men getting it done it's not so there are many straight guys out there who are getting bbls just because they feel like their bum is too small or because it's too fat, <laughs> or it's too flat, sorry. Imagine that. <laughs> That's funny. Because it'd be something you'd assume that most gay guys would get done. But I can imagine just like a regular dude who plays football on the weekends with his mates is deciding, you know what, I don't like the way my, my, my bum looks in shorts. I need some more bounce in there. Anyway, it continues. Um, article courtesy of Daily Mail. Let me pause this fucking annoying autoplay video that always does on there. It says, um, there's been a silent surge in male plastic surgeries over the last 20 years in what some experts have dubbed the daddy do of a trend. Figures in North, sorry, figures in American Society of Plastic Surgery suggest that 1.3 million men in the US are going under the knife each year for lipo, nose jobs, breast reduction, and even Brazilian butt lifts. Social media is awash with rumors of celebrities like Liam Payne and Simon Cowell getting face tweaks. I don't think it's a rumor about Simon Cowell. I think he's said it but few famous men are publicly admitted to having surgery i think the other one is what well that people always say is drake they say drake got stomach um i mean ab etching done which may be a thing who knows but i think drake was smart also he got he, he may have got what he got done but he also worked out a bunch as well i think that's the best way to do it you need to kind of get, if you're going to get work done you also need to make some final tweaks yourself on your end changing your diet working out a bunch, doing loads of cardio, that definitely is going to be a good combination. But if you just go under the knife to change absolutely everything and do no work, that's when you end up looking crazy. <clears throat> it continues. Dr. Matthew Del Moro, a plastic surgeon in NYC, told Daily Mail that while many female celebrities proudly flaunt their results of their procedures, the taboo still exists among men. Um, he estimates 15% of patients in his Manhattan clinic are men and a number that continues to rise, 15%. 15 percent crazy that's a lot in it like way more than you'd imagine some men have not been put off by the stigma however last june's chicago rapper badman keva went viral after announcing hepatic surgery but you can tell in it look at that he looks like an action man here <laughs> he's like pumped up with something look how clear that water is bloody hell beautiful 
It continues. Look at it. So this is a picture that shows Badman Kever before and after his work. It looks like he got his breast or his uh, male titties got taken in. And obviously he got the stomach etching done also. And I wonder if the implants, because this is etching. I know etching is like where they try and make the abs pop out a little bit. But I wonder with the implants, are they actually putting stuff into your stomach to make it look like you got abs? That's pretty. So what happens when you get fat then? You just have like a fat belly with abs on top of it. That's going to look crazy. That's him there. Looking great. Um, let's continue. It says, The daddy do over is a play on the term mummy makeover or a combination of cosmetic procedures to restore a woman's appearance. For men, the goal is to get rid of the dad bod. Um, they may have got in the changes of diet or routine, become a parent, according to American Society of Plastic Surgery. Procedures aimed at trimming fat, such as liposuction or staples of the daddy da da um, do over. Kevin, who underwent the abdominal waist surgery, um, shares results on Instagram. He said, I was working out hard and still couldn't lose my stomach fat. That's a lie by the way what i don't like is people who lie about their work if you're gonna get your work done just get it done because you want to get it done but the lie that people do like especially women they love that with the breasts oh my breast because my back was hurting no it wasn't you just want an excuse to get it done do you know what i mean like just get it like oh my nose i couldn't breathe at night no you just wear the smaller nose just get it just just be honest about it so most people don't work out hard enough or change their diet considerably enough to actually make the necessary changes to lose that stomach fat because usually stomach fat is usually the most stubborn fat to kind of get rid of um so i don't believe him that he done it as hard as he can he just couldn't bother to work out and that's fine i think it's perfectly fine to say i can't be bothered to work out so i'd much rather go on the knife that's okay just be honest about it and um, we continued kevin wrote I was 284 pounds. Now I'm 220, but you still have to work out hard. I had them take fat from everywhere to form my shit. My lower back, my... Oh, wow. They took the fat from what? I have a place in Um, I had them take the fat out from my lower back, my legs, everywhere. Um, was weird about my body because I weighed 284. He received backlash from his fans, but stated that it's a trend that's being not, that isn't being talked about. Most rappers ain't going to tell you the source, he said. Kevin is not the only celebrity opting for plastic surgery. In March, expecting that former One Direction star, um, Liam Payne, went on the knife, blah, 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 blah. Obviously, a Simon Cow there, and a picture of Liam Payne. Liam Payne looks crazy. He looks legitimately crazy. I know the picture on the left of here, he looks more like a baby. Um, and clearly this is taken years before right 2015 he was definitely way younger he's got a bit of the baby fat there but this face here on the right in 2023 is legit insane like he's got the johnny bravo you know what i mean whatever he got like that is crazy the work that he got in there he legitimately changed the structure of his entire face and got it done but hey it kind of is what it is isn't it i'm happy that people are doing what they need to be done in order to make themselves happy and if they are happy what else could we complain about what else could we on the outside complain about